Hello everyone. I'm going to tell you about the big blue button and the app frame plugins of Fedina today. So I am logging in as an admin. And let me first tell you about big blue button. So big blue button is a plugin that can be enabled from your SaaS account. And once you enable it, you'll be getting it under collaboration, collaborate. Big blue button is used when you want to do video conferencing using Fedina. For that, you need to go to this site, which is bigbluebutton.org. And in this site, you are going to get a demo, which you can view. And the same will be appearing for your, inside your Fedina. So you can get Big Blue Button installed in one of the servers and you have to add that server by going to this servers link here. You have to click on this servers, you have to click on this new server and you have to write the name, URL and the salt ID that will be provided to you by the Big Blue Button. Let me just show you the site. So this is Big Blue Button site. And you can view the demo here. The same is what will be appearing in Fedina once you install Big Blue Button in one of the servers and do the configurations. So here you have to give the name, URL, and salt ID of the server where you've installed Big Blue Button. Once you've done that, you have to create a meeting. So you have to click on New here. You have to give the name of the meeting. The server that you just added will be appearing in the drop-down. You have to select who all should be able to participate in that video conferencing. And you have to give the date and the time, so the schedule of the meeting. So this is how you create online meetings using Fedina. The next plugin is AppFrame. So for that, you have to enable AppFrame plugin in Fedina in your SaaS account. You have to go to apps and here you will have to go to manage apps. This is what is going to appear when you enable app frame plugin. And here you have to click on new. You have to give the name of the app that you want to appear or to be able to access for Dina. So you have to give that name. So let me give some name like. You have to give some URL. And you have to give some client name. Now this client name is the one that you've added in settings by going to manage clients. So you have to click new to add a new client. What we're actually doing is we are making an application access Fedina's data and we are giving access to that application. So the first step is to add a client. So it's like adding a software that you want to give permission to. So for example, I'm just adding a dummy client. So this is a client that I want to be able to access Fedina data. So once I save it, you will get a client ID and a client secret. Now your third party application that wants to access Fedina data will have to take in this client ID and client secret to be able to access Fedina. Once it is done, you have to go to apps, app manage apps, which will be coming only once you have enabled app frame plugin in Fedina. Once you've clicked on that, you have to click on new. Now you have to give the name of that app that should be interfaced with Fedina. So it's like adding an app inside Fedina. So I'm giving a URL. What is the client? So this is the client that I just created and who all will be getting it will be able to view this app. So let me submit it. And now when I log in as here under apps, I'll be able to see XYZ, which I just created. And when I click on it, that application is going to load inside Fedina. Since I've given the URL as the URL of Wikipedia, so it is appearing like this here. So what we're actually doing is we are embedding an application inside Fedina. So this can be done for third party applications. This can be done for applications who want to access Fedina data. For example, let's say there's an application that tracks the attendance of the student and you want to interface or you want that application to UI to be appearing inside Fedina. 
So the same steps that you have to follow here. So this is about BigBlue button and AppFrame plugin of Fedina. Be tuned in for more videos.